Hi, I'm Mari Silby with Light Reading and Orb TV, here again at Mobile World Congress 2018. And I'm joined by Kay Karasawa from Hi. NTT. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I want to start by asking, what are some of the new research areas of focus for research and development for NTT? OK. Uh, actually, we have five researching fields right now. Um, one is network. Is obviously, we are a network company, so starting with uh, network and security is more important mm. things on the secure uh, net on network and recently we focus on the IOT so everybody think about IOT things so we like to uh, provide uh, pro carry the many data through the, our ne secure network mm -hmm. and one another thing is we focus on media so we have uh, uh, Olympic game in 2020 right so we like to uh, handle such a uh, huge amount of uh, energy or atmosphere carried out to the other place. Okay. So I would like to uh, focus on uh, um, researching a technology in the media field. Right. And finally, we focus on the AI, artificial intelligence. Okay. So I would like to handle such a huge amount of data. So I would like to extract some values from such, uh, uh, such amount of data. So Now, we talked a little bit ahead of time about some of the, the sensor technology mm -hmm. that uh, your company is working on in terms of the athletes yeah. and sort of measuring their performance and the, the things that you'll be able to do. Can you, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, I focus on the, uh, uh, some technologies, put some technology in the athlete. It's usually independent of the IT field, right. so sports, sports field. So I Actually, I made some sensors for humans. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, familiar with human skin. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, you can use any time you want. So I provided it to the uh, national baseball team, software baseball team. So some guys very good at hitting a ball, right. but some leg like, is very difficult to hit. So we measure the human brain uh, sensing and I, we found some difference between these two players. Mm -hmm. So we uh, understand which player is fit to hit the ball. Mm -hmm. So uh, next step, we need to find out how to teach them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you can teach me to be a, a yeah. famous softball player as well, that would, yeah. be, that Actually, would be quite a feat. It's, it's very difficult to say uh, how to teach it. Mm -hmm. so, so I found it, it's, we, don't, we shouldn't use the uh, word. We should use a sound. Ah, yeah. We right. actually uh, measure the muscle movement, mm -hmm. so we change it to sound, like a music. In order to train the body right. to behave a certain way. Right, right. right. So the good player sound some music, uh -huh. so listen to that music. So the, the other guy imitates that right. movement or right. sound, yeah. Right, so that's very interesting. Let's move back a little bit to some of the things that we're, mm -hmm. we're seeing more here at Mobile World Congress and that I know NTT is working on, mm -hmm. uh, one of which is uh, some of the smart factory applications um, that NTT has, uh, has been a part of. Do you want to explain a little bit about the work you're doing there? Yeah, uh, actually, I, we are now collaborate with the manufacturer and uh, we uh, collaborate with uh, Fanac is a robot company. Okay. Yeah. Actually, they made a very intelligent robot. They uh, move uh, autonomously. Right. But uh, so the robots in the factory handling inventory. Right. Okay. Right. But usually uh, we need to connect each other mm -hmm. because sometimes robots are broken, so it should be stopped the uh, whole manufacture. So. Uh, we like to make a zero downtime factory. Right. So we need to connect the robot itself and uh, connect the factory itself. So, so we provide the edge servers in the factory and cross services between the factory. Okay. Yeah. And is that in deployments today? That that's something that you're out in the field doing? Yes. Right. 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 In Japan, we in Japan. actually uh, sold out uh, yes uh, last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, we uh, sell the edge servers for manufacturers, right. and we provide the cloud services to uh, edge servers. Yeah. Right. Um, on the AI and uh, and sort of deep analytics mm -hmm. topic. Uh, are there more ways in which NTT is using some of those technologies in the mobility and logistics space as well? Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, actually, we are 
uh, tele uh, telecommunication company, right. so we usually handle traffic of the communication. So it, uh, so we put this technology on the human movement or traffic movement. So we analyze the traffic congestion. Mm -hmm. So some, uh, we collaborate with some country, and I provide a uh, system for control the traffic jam. And uh, we call it smart city project. Ah, yes. Yeah. So yes. we reduce the traffic con uh, traffic jam right. to control the uh, signals or directions of the right. way. So we o optimize where the where the vehicles are going. Optimize where the potentially where the pedestrians need to walk as well. Right. 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 So so I had already had the results of the uh, reduce of the traffic jam. Oh, excellent. So actual application in the real world. Yes, right. Right. Um, okay, so so finally, we're here at Mobile World Congress. Are there other things that NTT is demonstrating out on the show floor that you want to share? Okay. Uh, actually, I uh, provided uh, some new devices for uh, 2020. Uh, it's a kind of a uh, cellular phone, mm -hmm. this size. Okay. But it, uh, they have a display, but it's transparent. Oh, it can see. This. You should have brought that here to show. Oh yeah, we like to show, but it's so yeah. Actually, uh, we have some slides, so mm -hmm. later I'm gonna show you. But uh, we can see it through the, this device, right? And put some information in the air <sighs> through the device, and this device can uh, take a uh, take a photo mm -hmm. and and analyze it in the crowd and send it back to what is this object. What is the, uh, what you are, right. something like that. So, right. we, so we put AI technologies behind that uh, devices. Right, and so. it happens to be a very cool device because it's a, a transparent one as well. Right, That's right, right. right. Well, good. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your show mm -hmm. here at Mobile World Congress. Again, I'm Mari Silby with Light Reading and Orb TV.